Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're going to answer a third request on how to change the material using a widget in real time. And to start, we're going to apply this uh, on our benches and our project example. Before we start, just one thing to mention, uh, we went back in 3D Max and attached these benches together to become like a, a single object. So to make things faster and easier uh, while we uh, uh, build up the widget uh, blueprints to achieve this uh, example. So uh, we're gonna start by converting these benches into a blueprint so we can apply uh, the material set. And to do that, basically we're gonna go to the blueprint and choose convert selection to a blueprint class. I'm gonna go to the harvest components and selecting an actor. And this now have become like a blueprint into our scene. The second thing is we're gonna build our uh, widget material setup. So I started with the basic uh, buttons uh, that we have learned how to create through our uh, widget series of videos that we have done earlier. And let's build our uh, button nodes so we can apply these uh, functions. So our first button, which is the dark stone, I'm gonna get all actor of class and we're gonna call the bench blueprint and we're gonna get a copy of this and we're gonna call the node set material and the idea here is that we're gonna apply the material that we have created earlier through these uh, buttons using their name. So uh, the first one, which is the default one, and that's the dark stone. I've created two other materials, uh, dark, gray, and uh, white. So let's duplicate this again. And for the gray stone, unclicked. Again, for the white also. So if we connect this, we're gonna choose the gray stone and for this also we're gonna choose the white stone so now our material is ready so once we press on the widget we're gonna get our uh, material uh, before we move from the widget one final note that we want to add for each one of them is the remove uh, widget uh, node so once we choose the the widget color we just we don't want to see the widget again we're going to remove it and call it back again once we select uh, on the benches so remove all the widget that's basically to solve the issue so i'm going to compile now so one way to do this is by connecting our widget that we have created now to our walkthrough widget and applying the material through calling this widget by a button for example the only problem with this method if you are doing this to a lots of objects inside your scene assuming for example this is just an exterior so it's easy here but for example if this is like a huge interior project you have a lots of objects that you want to you include uh, the option to change the material for your uh, client. Another way to do this is by giving a, an option of highlighting uh, these uh, objects through the blueprints and calling the widget uh, inside uh, the blueprint itself. So we're gonna do this by selecting our mesh and let's uh, go to on uh, being cur cursor over so once the mouse uh, approach this object we're gonna call a node called set scalar parameter value on material and this is basically where we're gonna go to the material and activate uh, one of the scalar parameter that we have also set up and that scalar parameter is basically a power uh, node that will enable the emissive color once the mouse approach the object so if we put this for example uh, to one we can see that the object it's gonna go uh, it's gonna glow and gonna be visible to once the mouse hover over the object so the default value right now is zero so we're gonna take a copy of this and go back to our blueprint and for the scalar parameter we're gonna put the 
the name of the scalar parameter and this is gonna be let's say for example let's put it as four to make it much much more uh, stronger and visible and we need to set up how this is gonna also be get disabled once uh, the mouse uh, and the hover over this object so the same thing we're just gonna change the value of the scalar parameter to zero back again okay so let's see if we can uh, make a test and see how this is gonna go but before that we need to do one more step uh, which is creating a player controller so we can enable uh, the events to happen once the mouse hover over our uh, objects so inside the blueprint class we're gonna call our player controller so let's say for example that's just an easy one uh, changing material I'm just gonna double click it and we're gonna activate the mouse cursor event compile and let's call it inside our player controller and let's see if this is gonna go so now that we move our mouse over the object it's get highlighted and this uh, makes it easier also for the viewer of this uh, presentation to select the objects you can actually change also the way this highlighting uh, appear by for example making it over uh, on clicked so once he click on the object it will get also highlighted but sometimes it can be also difficult because maybe they don't know which objects gonna be uh, uh, activated to change or highlighted to change the material okay so the next thing after uh, hovering over with the mouse we're gonna call our widget which called benches material over here sorry about that benches material and this is where we're gonna also add it to the viewport and we're gonna need to get our player controller over here also so let's see if we can now sorry about that so we're just gonna connect the return value and now it's okay so before also we move to the to test this we need to adjust the location of the widget inside the screen so we're gonna use also a, a node called set position in viewport and this is basically gonna help us uh, define where we want to see our widget in the screen so we're gonna split this into an x and y so we can define the values and I, uh, we have tried uh, different values so 400 by 600 is okay at this stage so let's compile and hit play and see how this is gonna go okay so if we choose uh, now the chairs uh, benches sorry we can see that we can change the color to the gray stone and because of that node that we have set up uh, to remove the widget it removed immediately and this is the white color so again highlighting the objects so the client can see that this is uh, an object that he can change the material with the widget that appears and choosing different colors again the material will uh, the widget sorry will uh, disappear after choosing the material so building uh, a widget to change your material in, in real time for your objects can definitely uh, done by different ways as, as we have seen through our uh, learning series it, you can choose which one of them can be uh, suitable and uh, more applicable in your project but the idea here is that when you have different option to do these uh, kind of uh, implementation in your real time will help you uh, choose which one will fit uh, the concept that you have in your project so I hope this uh, way of achieving the color changing was acceptable and uh, if you have any question please uh, mention it in the comments below and again thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.